So this is an example of my two libraries that I'm releasing. One sorts all the players uh, by their alliances into player uh, team based player groups. So the, it's split like uh, it's an array of player groups. So it's uh, like team one is a player group of players on team one or team zero or so forth. Team zero holds a neutral uh, CPUs. Team Team Zero holds neutral CPUs. Team One holds hostile CPUs. Uh, then it goes through the rest of the players and determines uh, their alliances. And depending on their alliances, it drops them into their corresponding team buckets. Uh, it, the system will dynamically generate. Uh, it will dynamically handle uh, lobby setups in the game variant file definitions uh, but I do believe you have to have the teams locked you have to have the players locked on their teams and you have to have the teams locked so I'm gonna go and fill this with some AIs and uh, it, it handles CPU players uh, it handles normal players it basically uh, does everything you uh, need to do to sort out who's on whose team so I'm gonna go ahead and start this so what we have here is the the leaderboard. Uh, we have team names, which you can customize, or it will just generate a team with the team index number. But there's also a, there's a large record of variables uh, involved. So you can customize team names. All the text values up here are uh, like set by text. So I'm doing a lot of uh, I haven't done this before, but I'm doing a lot of uh, setting uh, dialogue labels to have actual text blocks with styles and colors in them uh, quite a bit uh, so I so f for example this is team zero the neutrals and it dumps in all the neutral players in there and I have this is a team uh, two which is one of the first pl uh, teams that the playable ca playable uh, players get dumped in and it has a predefined name of cool people uh, whereas the rest of the teams I did not I just uh, did not specify a name for them so they default to this uh, as you can see that it uh, in my map uh, variant file I have uh, player one locked on uh, team one uh, team one in the variant file is not team one in here uh, team one is going to be basically team one in the variant file is going to be basically uh, your team number in the variant file uh, add two to it because I got a team for neutrals and I got a team for hostiles so team two is our first play so uh, player one is set to team one in the variant file and player three is set to team one in the variant file and as you can see they're both on the same team whereas uh, player 2 and player 4 in the variant file are set to be on uh, team 2 uh, player 10 in the variant file is set to be on team uh, 2 so you add 2 to it he ends up on team 4 and we have a slick little minimize action animates and so far that's it uh, currently this is going to be going into a, another uh, game I'm, I've been helping some people on and you all have be able to show it uh, in a little bit more action when uh, I have some stuff to update the values with uh, next step is to put progress bars in here and so forth and allow players to customize their their icon that shows on the side but for the most part that's it